diverse range of adult partnerships, regardless of sexual orientation, gender identity, living together or apart in, acro in across all cultures, with or without children and throughout the life cycle. And what is it about couples? Well, I think the couple relationship is of intense interest to most people. Many people want to fall in love and find a soulmate. Some would like to have children with a partner, not necessarily always, but why is it sometimes so difficult? We have difficulties in listening and hearing what the other really feels and thinks, allowing the other to really have their own separate view, making space for other people, perhaps extended family, friendships, or even hobbies that might take up a lot of time. Jealousy is really hard, I think, for couples. You know, we often don't like to admit it, but this is a very primal feeling. It's difficult sometimes for couples to keep alive a sexual relationship, and couples organize this in many different ways often. But how can couples be close enough without feeling suffocated whilst having enough space and distance, but also not to feel too lonely? We, we call this the porcupine's dilemma. So what is different about working with couples? Well, in individual therapy, we only really ever hear reports of what's happened between partners. We don't actually see it in vivo, so to speak. But in couple therapy, the interactions between partners happen in real time and the arguments are very much present and alive in the room. And this is a very powerful experience for the therapist. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment. So what's it like working with two patients at the same time? This is often a question we're asked. Well, is it is it like working with two patients in, at the same time? Well, yes and no. It's not only that there are two people to consider, but in psychodynamic couple psychotherapy, we regard the relationship as the patient. Now, this consists of their own shared unconscious world, their projective system, each of their own unconscious worlds, their dynamic interactions, their shared fantasies and defences, and it is this area that is the focus of the treatment. So to the nuts and bolts of it, really, what are the entry requirements? Well, you must be a qualified psychodynamic or psychoanalytic psychotherapist or psychoanalyst trained to work with either adults, children or groups. You will be currently registered with the British Psychoanalytic Council or the UK Council for Psychotherapy in the psychoanalytic or psychodynamic section, or the Jung, you might be in the Jungian section as well. And these criteria aren't negotiable. We, we don't do equivalents on these trainings, unless it's a psychodynamic or psychoanalytic training that you've done perhaps out of the UK, um, where you've got, you're on the register uh, in another country, and then we can look for equivalents. We also look for suitability. We really want you to to be someone who's very open, who really brings your curiosity to this work, to be prepared really to use yourself and to be very emotionally affected by the work. It's very powerful sitting with a couple and it can feel very eatable. We want you also to be able to think about discrimination, including a variety of sexualities and relationship styles. For example, polyamory, for instance, open relationships. We want you to, to be comfortable working with the areas of anger and sex. Do you think you're comfortable with these aspects? Or more crucially, if you're not, and I think a lot of people aren't, are you open to developing the capacity to be more comfortable with working in these areas? Because these are the things couples often bring, are, are difficulties around anger and sex. The structure of the training has several core components. There's supervised clinical work. You see two couple psychotherapy cases of 12 months duration, two different supervisors, one for each case. There's a clinical seminar and a theory seminar. Those are weekly during term time. And you'll be in your own psychoanalytic psychotherapy or psychoanalysis minimum twice a week. But if you've done a previous training, we do understand that sometimes people have had previous intensive therapy. The therapy requirement will be discussed during the application process. So sometimes you don't have to go back into therapy. Sometimes we recommend you do. What we often find though is because the nature of the work is so powerful that often trainees do choose to go back to therapy um, even if they've had a long analysis before. 
It's a hybrid training. It's a mixture of online seminars and some in-person seminars. So it might mean that uh, you actually meet as a group in person in the BPF, maybe twice a term for both the theory and the, and the clinical seminar. Supervision can be face-to-face -face or online. You have approximately 30 to 35 supervisions across the year, although this can be slightly more if you've got two training patients at once, which sometimes people have. The clinical work has to be undertaken face-to-face. -face. It can't be online. Uh, successful completion of the course leads to qualification as a couple psychodynamic psychotherapist and membership of the BPF. You'll be on the, you'll be a professional membership of the psychodynamic section of the British Psychoanalytic Council, but you'll also join a growing community of couple psychotherapists worldwide. And it has its very own journal here, which is fascinating actually. It's a really good little journal. The theoretical basis of the training is psychoanalytic, specifically object relations theory and contemporary psychoanalysis, as well as some Jungian concepts. The course draws on a unique field of couple psychoanalytic concepts developed over 75 years in the field of couple psychoanalytic psychotherapy, as well as other influences such as mentalization based therapy, particularly where couple relationships are dysregulated. What the training will provide you with? Well, it'll provide you with a thorough psychoanalytic and psychodynamic understanding of the couple relationship, including couple development through the life cycle, working with unconscious couple dynamics and processes, understanding couple psychopathology, working with anger and conflict, sexuality and sexual relationships, diversity in couple relationships and clinical technique. And the course explores conscious and unconscious impact of discrimination on the couple relationship. For example, homophobia, racism, ageism, class, disability, etc. Writing an assessment for the course, there are no written marked assessments for this course. It's entirely focused on the clinical work and is based on the model of continual assessment. So by that, I mean progression is, is assessed by course staff throughout the year and the training committee. We use clear criteria for clinical work with couples, as well as taking into account your contribution to the course seminars. So we, you're assessed through the year, really, in your clinical work and your contribution to the seminars. Assessments of your development as a couple psychotherapist are by supervisor's reports written twice yearly, and these are shared and discussed with you and your tutor. The writing which is required for the course, you have to do process notes verbatim for supervision and the clinical seminar, and that's quite tricky, writing up verbatim transcript with a couple. You'll do twice yearly reports on your couples as part of good clinical governance, but also for your own learning, and these are looked at with your supervisor. And there'll be other professional writing for record keeping, letters to professionals such as GPs, referrers, and so on. So the clinical work, which is face-to-face -face only, the clinical cases are seen in the BPF slow fee clinic. So once couples have been assessed and allocated, trainees can see their cases in their own private practice or other suitable setting. And this may well be out of London. We've just started this course in the BPF this year, and we actually have a trainee who is working out of London. Uh, clinical assessment and responsibility is held by the BPF in the low fee clinic. Another option, if you want, if you don't have a private practice or you want to have an NHS experience, you can see your couple case or couple cases in the couple service at the Tavistock and Portman NHS Foundation Trust. And then clinical assessment and responsibility is held by the Tavistock. So a few other things really, this is a unique standalone training. It isn't CPD or a top-up training is for people who've already qualified in one psychodynamic or psychoanalytic modality. Working with couples is demanding and it's different to work with individuals or groups or children, but it is immensely rewarding. And individual therapists who undertake the course find that, or, or actually child psychotherapists who see a lot of parents, also find that the course helps them to develop their work with individuals or with the parents they're working with. 
Many of our students have commented about the profound effect that this training has on them personally and their own development. And it takes about two years, but as with many psychotherapy trainings, sometimes it can take a bit longer. You know, if you're it's slow to get a case or unfortunately your case drops out or something happens to you in the middle of a training, for example. What about after qualification work opportunities? Well, some people already work in the NHS and they do this course. And so they're able to see couples as part of their NHS role if they've got a manager who will allow them to do this. And many managers are delighted that they've got someone trained in couple work, in psychodynamic or psychoanalytic trouble, couple work. There are jobs in the voluntary sector. There's work with parental couples in a range of frontline services and private practice. And our couple graduates are rarely short of work. And why would you wish to do this training with the BPF? Well, you will train at a center of excellence with access to a growing range of psychotherapy trainings and development opportunities all under one roof, which we've been hearing about the whole of this day. It's quite incredible, really. Graduates often remain involved with the BPF, and this, I think, speaks to the very high standards of training and supervision that they've enjoyed and value. There's a lot to interest um, our alumni, the BPF, there are scientific meetings, a diverse program of CPD, a network of other psychotherapists, which includes referral networks, learning opportunities, um, and more. And also to be part of a growing psychoanalytic organization, which is also a charity with a range of trainings and patient populations coming into it all under one roof. How does this training differ from other couple trainings? Well, it's an opportunity for psychotherapists who already qualify to gain a clinical qualification in couple work in approximately two years. There are no written requirements. The focus is entirely on the clinical work. It's robust, it's grounded in psychoanalytic thinking as it applies to the couple relationship. All our staff are extremely experienced clinicians as well as trainers who are committed to training the next generation of couple psychotherapists. And this is really important to us. It's a small field, but we really need it to want and want it to grow, and it is growing. The training takes place in a solid organization, the BPF, with a track record of excellence in clinical training and treatment and research. And you're trained to work with complex problems. It uses what you already know and develops and enriches it. So I think that's the end of my presentation, actually. I'm sorry about the problems at the beginning, but I'll stop sharing my screen and hopefully there's going to be enough time for questions. We can always just give people a couple of minutes there, Lisa, to pop the questions in the Q&A, you can catch your breath. <laughs> Absolutely. We've got a couple that are in the Q&A box now. Okay, great. Thank you, Charlotte. Okay. Uh, Zach E was asking, do we ever work with a co-therapist? Not in training, but some people do choose to do that. Um, you know, in some other longer trainings, uh, you have a case with a co-therapist. I suppose a lot of the time, you we think it's really important that trainees actually know what it's like to be alone with a couple. And many people are quite frightened of doing that at first. So we want to give them an experience of that. Uh, anonymous attendee, can this form of therapy help couples in which there is severe mental illness? Yes, definitely it can. I work in the NHS in the couples unit in the Tavistock Clinic. And we see a lot of people who are very unwell, really, and come as a couple. Sometimes their couple relationship is where one of them has become a carer to the other. Um, and that completely changes the couple dynamics. So yes, we, we do see couples like that. Probably you wouldn't see them during your training. You'd need to work with couples where you can learn from them.
but yes, it, it would definitely be a, a form of therapy. I think a very powerful form of therapy, actually, where we can help couples in severe dif difficulty. You know, you were trained to ad adapt technique then, but that would probably be post qualification. Are there many therapists working full time alongside the training? Yes, there are. Um, but as with a lot of trainings, you'll find that you need to kind of slightly alter the balance of your work as you get towards the end of your training. Um, you might have a couple in private practice, for example. Um, well, it, they will be in your private practice if you've got a private practice. But the other thing that I forgot to say is that after the 12 months therapy as your training case, you can take your couple into your own private practice. You would renegotiate the contract with the couple, so to speak, but they would then be able to enter into um, open-ended work. So it is possible to do it, but you'd have to be very organized is what I'd say. We do have people at the moment who are training who are working full time. Uh, can you go directly onto the course after qualifying? I don't know which course you're talking about. Do you, I don't, don't know if you mean one of the previous psychotherapy trainings that gives you a clinical qualification. Yes, you could. I mean, we could look at all of that on, on application. Sometimes it's a good idea to um, digest your training a bit, sort of get a bit of experience working in one modality, but wouldn't be ruled out, no. How long would therapy generally last for a couple through the low cost scheme? The low cost scheme is for 12 months. And then after that, uh, you can take your couple into private practice um, and then couples can stay, you know, from anything 12 months to many years, depending on the kind of presenting problem and what they're, they're dealing with. Uh, what are among the biggest challenges of giving couples therapy? Mm. I would say there is there are two uh, answers to this and they're related really. One is that it's a very powerful experience um, and that's why you need to have already had a clinical qualification and already have had some therapy. Because one of the biggest challenges is keeping what we call a couple state of mind. So couples will come with an idea that it's all their partner's fault or they'll bring one of the partners as being the patient, as it were, the one with all the problems. Um, and it's very hard to keep your couple state of mind and not take sides. So we train you to do this because that's part of the work is being pulled to take sides, but it's really important that you don't because you're actually treating the unconscious world that the couple create between them. Um, so whereas one of them will think that it's all the other's fault, What's actually happening is that one of the partners is projecting their own emotional and unconscious contents into the other who has a valency for it and takes it in. Um, so, yeah, I would say that's probably one of the biggest challenges of giving couples therapy. Is this course appropriate for a master's degree counsellor already in their own private practice and already working with individuals and clients? Possibly, but it depends if you're a psychodynamic counsellor or psychotherapist, we'd, we'd have to look at it on application, really. And it is possible to sort of have an informal discussion with me as course lead before you apply so that you're not put in the position of applying and then, uh, then you're turned down. So it's a good idea to make an in inquiry. Uh, is it already BPC accredited? Um, it's, go it's going to be accredited. So it has to go through an accreditation process. But we've been in close contact with the British Psychoanalytic Council who want us to start the course. So we've got, so they've got something to accredit. And this is a course that they know the, the contents and the staff group very well. So I think they trust us to start it. Um, so we're confident that it will be accredited uh, in hopefully by spring of this year. What do you enjoy about couple therapy? <laughs> well, yes, it's it's very dynamic and it's extremely rewarding. And it requires you to sort of use yourself in a way that is quite unique, really. Um, and I think the rewarding nature of it is that, you know, you do see couples 
even if they separate, they can separate amicably and protect themselves and the children and not just rubbish what they've had. But for those who can overcome their difficulties, like for instance, you know, the impact of secrets or an affair or something like that, you know, it can be immensely rewarding. I hope that answers your question. Yes, that's an important question. When training, when working with patients from the low cost fee, does the trainee therapist receive the fee? Yes, is the answer to that. And that subsidizes the supervision costs. Supervision costs aren't included in the course fee. Um, although the fee is very competitive and I think very reasonable in the current climate. So yes, you receive the fee. If the low cost fee is set at the moment between 20 and 50 pounds a session, um, do you go through as one group or is there a plan for a rolling program? Um, yes, I, I think you do go through as a, as, as one group. So you might start together and the plan is that that's what would happen. I think, um, you know, as this is also a new course, we're open to thinking about that, but it's certainly our plan to to have a group, a cohort that goes through together. Okay. Should we take a short break now? Yes, perfect. Brilliant, thank you everyone. So we're gonna now take a short